Oh, are you going to attack it? I think she's attacking it. Are you attacking the snow? Are you attacking the snow rooster? You are? The sky is falling. What are you going to do, Roo? Alright guys, so stupid me, I was tricked into doing the cookie exchange at work. I don't want to bake cookies. And I didn't realize how many people were going to be in the exchange. You don't realize how many coworkers you have until there's a cookie exchange. So what I did, I did spend a fortune, but it's okay. What I did is I came to Milano Bakery and look at these trays of cookies. Oh my gosh. We'll look a little more closely. I'm at home, but look at those. They're fabulous. A nice variety. They're going to be tasty. Yeah, you like the idea of them? Well, good lucky news for you. I got some just for us, guys. Because those are for work. For my cookie exchange, I just have to kind of separate them into little bags and give them away at work. But this, oh, what did I get us, guys? What is this, guys? It smells good, huh? It smells. Which one are we going to eat, guys? I think I like the Christmas tree one. Oh, hold on, dude! Dude! What's going on? No! Okay, <laughs> what's happening? What's happening here? There's the Christmas cookie. I get the first bite. I get the first. What is happening here? What is happening here, dude? This is my cookie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm hmm. Yeah, you want some? Let me give. Oh, that's a big bite. That's a big bite. Where's Georgie? Where's Georgie at? Georgie needs a big bite back there too. She's back there. She's eating one. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Ready to go. <clears throat> I'm choking on cookie, dude. There we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Those are good, huh? We'll save the rest for later. And that's for later. All right, so I'm going to take these home, and then we'll go on our adventure. Is that okay? All right, let's do it. What is that noise, guys? I think it's ducks. What do you think it is, Chap? What do you think, George? I think they're laughing at you guys. You guys are silly. The most disgusting lady was in front of me in line at the grocery store just now. She actually took her mask down and blew her nose and then had her mask hanging down off her red nose. I test people for COVID for a living plus other medical things that I do, x-rays and such, but almost every single person that has come in this year and said, oh, I just have my yearly sinus infection, I get this every year, has tested positive for COVID. So if you have a runny nose that is so bad that you have to take your mask down in a store and blow your nose, stay home, okay? Because <laughs> you just spread COVID to the poor workers there. The masks work, if you keep the masks on, you're gonna be fine. I have literally had people cough in my face, sneeze in my face after I swabbed them for COVID, but I have the masks on, so I'm okay but that lady was disgusting and just spread COVID. She was a COVID woman and spread it to everyone that she encountered in the grocery store today. So that sucks for the people that work there. The crew decided to come outside. Rooster, what are you doing, cat? Got my guard cat, my guard dog, and then there's Chops. Rougarou, what are you doing, cat? 
Rooster. What you doing, George? Miss Gumbo. Aw, oh, good girl. Chop, leave her alone. Chapatulas, leave your sister alone. I may have overbought on the cookies, but can you ever really overbuy on Milano cookies? Because they are delicious. I probably have some crumbs around my mouth. Because I've been snacking. But I made the packs and I still have a bunch left. So I think I'll take another one in for the people not participating in the cookie exchange because they were smart and didn't participate in a cookie exchange and they deserve a prize for that. And then, I mean a sugar high, it's good stuff. Yeah, they're really good though, so they were worth it. You like them? You do? They are Chop and Gumbo approved. What about Rooster? Rooster likes them too? Oh, Rooster's over there eating her little sugar cookie too. Interpretive cookie dance. Cookies are so good. I look awful. It's okay. Gathered my work cookies in the Barnes & Noble bag. I took the decorations and kind of put them on a couple of the bags. There's my little contribution. What do you think? Yeah. Are we napping, guys? What's going on, Rooster? You heard the cameras on? You're out here too now? You guys are goofy. So this is my first time getting this Once Upon a Book Club Advent Edition. This thing is huge. I'll pop this open. Let me see what we got in here. Uh oh, I can get it. Whoa. 12 days of book club miss. So it's 12 different authors. And then it has the different stories. And then for each day, there's a present. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's all full of presents, guys. So we get to give ourselves a present each day after we read the story in their little 12 Days of Clubmas book. Read one story each day starting on December 14th in order to open your last gift on Christmas Day. Just don't open the book until prompted because they prompt you in the story. And then they have a full on box boxing, cocoa and cookies, and Facebook and Instagram Live on December 30th. So mine just arrived yesterday. So I'm going to be a little bit behind. You're going to read a book with me? You just want to open the presents? You want presents? You don't even know what they are. Gumbo keeps trying to open in the presents. Look at this little paw. Look at that paw. Oh, look how beautiful that is. You got beautiful paws, little handsome man. What are Georgie's? Georgie has rough, lived-in paws. She's had a rough life. Yeah. You need these nails trimmed, girl. Look at those. Ooh, girl. Those are long. Those are embarrassing. We need to trim those things. You're lucky I don't feel like doing it right now. So I got to the part of the book where it says open your gift for day one. Let's see. What do we have? Three. Day seven, day four, day two, day nine, day eight, day five. Must be this bottom one. Day one. Ooh. It's the same gift that the person in the story receives. A book and a, and a journal. And it comes with a bookmark, which is helpful. I get a nice story and I get a gift that matches the story. Just pass the chicken and spice, JJC. This place Look is it. still open. Barbecue place. Oh yeah. K Rims barbecue. Look at the they got all the lights pulling up to pick up our food. It's basically a tour of Italy. I think they called it the Italian feast or something Dinner like that. For Dinner, Dinner for two. two. Look how pretty that is. I got all the Christmas decorations. It smells delicious. And here's the back of this place. We got our tour of Italy guys. Boop, 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 boop. You guys are in the food truck picking up food. Pick up the train. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. That's that's a high school guys. <laughs> that big giant building is a high school. Limestone. Yeah, we are known for our limestone around here. What are you doing up front here, dude? You did. Oh, you smell the food. That smells good, doesn't it? We gotta wait till we're home to eat that. I probably could take my mask off now. <laughs> oh well. 
sometimes I think I look better with a mask on, so I just go with it. We got Harris Casino on the left. Harold Shrimp and Chicken on the right. Oh yeah. We're gonna got locked out of the house. Sorry, Rooster. <laughs> I didn't know you were outside, girl. Yeah, right, my chop. girl. Come on. George, are you helping him? Let's go, George. Chop. Let's go, Chop. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, you did it, little man. Good job. Let's go in. Go in the fence, guys. Let's go in the fence, and then I'll go grab the food. I don't trust you, Chop. You're not trustworthy yet. Gumbo's mostly trustworthy. You're here is the information about what we ordered. <coughs> Chop says, let's just eat. <coughs> let's just eat is what he says. Let's pop this baby open. What do we got? Oh yeah. Look at that. We got lasagna, fettuccine, spaghetti. Are those meatballs? I didn't even know they were going to be meatballs. That is fabulous. A nice little salad to go with it. And then I went ahead and got the wine they had, and this is the one they gave me. I didn't, I just picked red. You know, they had red or white, and I went with red. And this is what they gave us, so it looks delicious. It smells amazing. This is our first time trying the Wednesday night dinner, and it is delicious. Only 12 bucks for all this food, and it really is flavorful and amazing and delicious. You really do Lady in the Tramp. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All the other food that I've gotten in the vlogs, I haven't really reviewed because they're all our favorites to begin with. So that's why I don't review them. This one we've never had before and that's why I just want to say that this is very amazing and we'll be getting from them again. For $12, get all this food, amazing. Is it almost time for bed? Yeah, it is. You're getting sleepy. Yeah, you are, my girl. What about this one? What about this one? His tail's, his tail's wagging, his tail's wagging. Are you ready for bed, little Mia? Is it almost bedtime? <laughs>